I have to place all ten fingers on everything in front of me. The mirror is there, I'm now going to have to touch the mirror. I can see a button undone on my shirt, which has to be undone and done up many times, and now I have to go back to the others again. Of course, while I'm doing this, my neck is starting to tick. Nick Van Bloss has suffered with Tourette's syndrome all his life. I now have to punch my stomach, and I've got to go back to the touching now. Unfortunately, it's regimented, and it's going in sync with the ticks that are happening in the body. So... Every day, it controls his movements, it directs his thoughts. I can hear a door squeak, and I'll have to ee make the squeak sound. I want to stick my fingers in the sandwiches. It's a wash. I'm almost dizzy and spinning. I want to spit in the waiter behind the bar's eye. It's like something's inside of me making me do things I don't want to do. And yet, one thing can stop it all. Since the age of 11, Nick has controlled his Tourette's by playing the piano. It made him one of the most promising talents of his generation. Until the day the Tourette's came back to haunt him. For centuries, people have believed in the idea of the mad genius. But with the gift comes the curse. But is there really something about certain illnesses that makes the sufferers more creative? Could there be a link between this young boy's autism and his music? I just uh, got the piano and played, and then the signals from my mind go to the fingertips. Is there a connection between these schizophrenic patients and their art? I try to go a little bit beyond reality. That's why I don't paint just, just pictorial things. I try to get into the, the super reality. It's a question that has played Nick Van Bloss all his life. <laughs> 